Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money G. Yes, it is time to do the first horror tag of 2019. Yes, it is Sean Urshan's 1980s Slashers Horror Tag. Yes. <laughs> now, once again, this tag was created by my good friend Sean Patrick Urshan from the Horror Corner. <laughs> I love when he does that. Uh, he's created this uh, actually nice tag. Uh, for the new year, and this is the uh, 80 Slashers uh, tag. Uh, more likely, you know, horror movies that came out during the 1980s, particularly slasher films. And he's come up with 10 easy, nice questions, and let's get started with question number one. <laughs> now, question number one, uh, best gore effects in an 80 slasher film. Now, I've seen a lot of slasher films in my time, especially during the 80s, but the one that really caught my attention was uh, the original Maniac. Yes, there is a scene in there where he comes up upon a car and blasts this guy's face uh, head away with a shotgun. <laughs> now, I've seen this effect before in another horror film called Scanners. That's not a slasher film, so I will not include that one. Yeah, so uh, best score effects in the slasher 80 films will be the original Maniac. Question number two, favorite 80s slasher with a major star. Now, <laughs> I always like to go up against the grain because I know a lot of people will probably pick the usual answers. But there was an 80s slasher effect that I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know. It's called Visiting Hours. And guess who started it? Yes, Captain Kirk himself, William Shapner. <laughs> so, favorite 80s slasher with a major star, Visiting Hours. Question number three, favorite weapon used by a killer in an 80 slasher film. Now, uh, once again, going up against the grain, I decided to pick, well, since it's an 80s film, I couldn't actually pick um, Phantasm because it actually came out in 79. So I had to go with Phantasm 2, those lovely spears, and we get even more of those in this one as we got in the original. I mean, what better favorite weapon than the tall man uses than those spears? <laughs> so definitely Phantasm 2, the spears. Question number four, a favorite 80 slasher sequel. Now, of course, most everyone knows that Freddy is my favorite slasher, Freddy Krueger, and obviously my favorite sequel of the uh, uh, Freddy's is uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. It has some of the best lines in it. It's really when Freddy becomes his own. And of course, who can't forget that favorite line? This is it, Jennifer, your big break on TV. Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so our favorite uh, slasher film sequel of the 80s is A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors. Question number five, what is the sleaziest 80s slasher film? Now, it took me a while to find this one, but there is one. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know about it. It's called The New York Ripper. It's mostly based on Jack the Ripper. And uh, this was, <laughs> you want to talk about sleazy, misogynistic, I mean, just downright demeaning to ladies in this particular film. They don't even pay that much attention to the actual killer itself. They're just trying to see how much they can out sleaze and how much nudity they can put them on the film. So if you want to actually see a very sleazy film, yeah, see this one, The New York Ripper. <laughs> I love number six. A uh, favorite death scene in a sla in an 80 slasher film. Obviously, one of my favorite death films in a slasher is Friday the 13th, Part 7, The Sleeping Bag Kill. As a matter of fact, why don't you take a look and see for yourselves. <laughs> Said I had a warm, morbid sense of humor. 
Okay, question number seven. Uh, favorite guilty pleasure 80s slasher film. Uh, one of my favorite guilty uh, pleasure films uh, during the 80s was Children of the Quorum. Now, uh, it's a very, it's based off a of Stephen King uh, short story, if I remember that correctly. And I, I enjoyed the film. Not one of the best slasher films that came out during the 80s, but it has its own uh, uh, moments throughout the film. And I enjoyed watching it. So, uh, obviously, a favorite guilty slasher film during the 80s. Uh, Children of the Corn. Question number eight. Uh, favorite 80s slasher soundtrack? Well, obviously, this is going to go with Halloween, too. There's Mr. Sandman that comes at the end of the, uh, that comes at the end of the movie. And, of course, John Carpenter's excellent theme song that plays in the beginning and at the end of the picture. You can't do better than that. <laughs> so, a favorite soundtrack during the 80s slasher film is Halloween, too. Question number nine, favorite Halloween, I mean, favorite holiday theme 80s slasher film. Now, there's a lot of, uh, of 80s Halloween themes that came out. You know, obviously you have uh, My Bloody Valentine's, Prom Night. I don't know if you want to call that a, a slasher film, and uh, if you want to call that a slasher film. I mean, a holiday film, but you do have Prom Night. Uh, obviously, uh, Black Christmas. But that didn't come out during the age. It came out in 74. But I'm going to go with um, April Fool's Day. And <laughs> there's a reason why I would uh, choose that one. It's an interesting take on April Fool's Day. But obviously, it's the twist that you see at the end, which I will not say what it is. But if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. So, April Fool's Day, favorite holiday theme, 80 slasher. And finally, question number 10, uh, what is the scariest 80s slasher film? They really don't scare me that much. Nothing really scares me, but if there was any movie that would scare anybody, it would be the original A Nightmare on Elm Street because, yeah, that set the stage as far as, you know, trying to differentiate yourself between reality and uh, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you're dreaming and whether or not you're sleeping. So I really love... I really like what Wes Craven did uh, in that uh, film. You know, he blared the you know what's what's happening in reality and what's happening in real life. So, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original one, as a uh, scary as '80s slasher film, but it didn't scare me. <laughs> and there you have it. That is the uh, Son Urch and Patrick's uh, '80s slasher tag. Uh, now, normally this comes to the point where I will start tagging people, but I'm just going to leave it at this. If you're watching this film, if you're watching this video right now, you've been officially tagged by the horror miser on EG. Just remember to give Sean Urshan uh, the credit because this is his tag. I'll leave a link to his channel on in, in the description box below. I'm pretty sure he'll create a playlist for that. Once again, Sean Patrick Urshan from the horror corner. <laughs> I just had to do it again, Sean. <laughs> So once again, that's my video for the day, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot. And once again, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscriber button, ring that notification bell, that way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror My Zamani G. And as always, all my social media links will be in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror My Zamani G. And always remember, horror rules. <laughs> Vince, take us home. We're out. <laughs>